Hey guys, how the hell are you? And welcome back once again to Arnold Drinks. My name is Arnold, and tonight, I drink. So tonight, once again, I have a store pick for you. This is a Specs store pick of Stranahan's Single Barrel. This is a cask strength single malt whiskey made by Stranahan's in the heart of Denver, Colorado. This is 120.76 proof. It has an age statement on the bottle as well of six years and seven months. For those of you guys that are keeping track, barrel ID is 15-1452. Comes with this little, uh, what is it, tin or aluminum jigger that's here on the top here. I don't know. I'm concerned about how this thing tastes. Now I have partaken in this already, and I gotta tell you, I'm looking very forward to having another sip of this with how awesome the first initial sips were. So, first of all, the aroma. Oh my God. So that's interesting. It's a bit buttery, a bit apple-y, actually more than a bit apple-y. Bit of cinnamon in there, baking spice, lots and lots of vanilla, oh my God. God, that smells like a vanilla bomb. How everyone is always talking about how this bourbon and that bourbon have very prominent notes of vanilla. For whatever reason, I never get that out of bourbons, but I'm getting a ton of it out of this Colorado single malt. So once again, by the way, this is a cask strength single malt. It is very, very alcohol forward in the aroma, but not in a displeasing way. That proofage is bringing with it all those sweet, beautiful notes. There's also a very fruity, slightly berry-ish sweetness that's with it too, that's kind of melding really, really nicely with the apple. Maybe a little bit of pear in there too, but mostly buttery, apple-y, kind of syrupy goodness, and that cinnamon note too. Let's go, down the hatch. Mm. So that proofage comes back in a big way when you actually take a sip. Whew, it, that, mm, that hits you really, really hard. So drinking a little bit hot, but in kind of a sweet kind of way. So remember how I was saying that it's a little bit alcohol forward on the aroma, but not in a displeasing way? Kind of the same on the palate. Yeah, it's alcohol forward. You're getting a lot of that burn, but it's quite enjoyable to be honest with you. It's bringing with it all of those sweet, buttery, oily notes that were in the aroma, but much more prominent in the palate. So you're getting the butter, you're getting the apple, you're getting cinnamon, a little bit more pear, a hell of a lot of vanilla. Let's go back in. Ooh, man, just alcohol burn, just kind of filling the mouth, but yet with this beautiful, just kind of grainy, doughy, buttery, fruity kind of melange of a lot of different flavor notes all coming together. Damn, that is a ridiculously good bottle. Let's go in for another sip. And on this one, a lot more of that cinnamon on the back end. The finish is long and lingering. So you definitely have a lot going on throughout the palate, the front of the palate, the mid palate, and then with this long lingering cinnamon heavy finish. Bit of oak in there too, a little bit of a woodiness that is coming through in a big way on that finish. Like you can definitely tell that this has spent some time in a barrel and it wasn't just some pulled out just to put a product on the shelf. This is very, very nicely matured. All of those notes are very, very impactful and the proofage. The proofage is doing exactly what you want it to do in a cast strength whiskey. It is pushing all of those flavor notes to the forefront and making this extremely enjoyable. Let's go in one more time. 
See, that's crazy to me that that is that damn good. So that is 100% malted barley made with pristine Rocky Mountain water. Cast strength, single malt, single barrel. It is just kind of a beautiful pour that is all in all just an experience. I'm rather enjoying that. That is kind of incredible. So thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, tons more of this content to come. And as always, remember, take what you do seriously, but do not take yourselves too seriously.